welcome back to my channel. I'm I'm really sorry that it has been a hot minute since I filmed. I had to I had some issues with my Final Cut Pro, but I have Final Cut Pro. It's all good. We back to film. We got some fall looks on deck. You guys, fall is my favorite season of the year, like any other typical white girl. But you know what? That's fine because I'm gonna own my white girlness <coughs> right now because I mean. Hello, hello, how could you just not wanna be all up on this, okay? Okay? Anywho, this is my pumpkin spice, like pumpkin spice inspired makeup tutorial. I am in love. I created it like really quickly, last second, last, ooh, sorry. I'm like, come on here, we gotta be, we gotta be large and in charge on both sides, not one side. Anywho, I created it really quickly last Friday, <laughs> right before I went to a haunted house. Um, so I did not expect to like it as much as I did, but then I was like, ooh, girl. So this time around, I did it with more time, um, took my time, really went in depth to show you guys how I created this look. I hope you guys love it as much as I do because I am obsessed. Um, and if you guys have not subscribed yet, go ahead and click that button right there. Hello, bingo wings. Yes, I can make fun of myself. Anywho, um, Go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. I would love to have you join my JFAM. And you guys will never be disappointed if you join. Just kidding. You might be. I hope not. <laughs> Just give me a couple videos and you'll like me, okay? Smart map with this. But if you guys want to know how I created this orange, warm, goodness, pumpkin spice inspired makeup tutorial, then just keep on watching. Okay, guys. So I'm just going to put my little kitty ears on make sure that we are nice then ready so wow oh and don't mind jupiter's uh brother is growing under my nose and i apologize that this video is a little bit dark it's because i have no natural lighting coming in right now because the weather is just shite outside so yo i'm just gonna apply some smashbox primerizer just to kind of settle into the skin. Ooh, I have a cut on my finger for a dry patch skin. It's burning that dry patch skin. But I'm just gonna let this soak beautifully into the skin while I do my eyes. Oh, and I have another pimple. Chickly, you're just acne city today. Okay, so um, I'm gonna prime my eyelids um, with my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. You guys, I'm really sorry if you can hear Chewy um, howling like he's being chopped alive in the back room. He cannot be out roaming while I am filming because I can't watch him and he's a menace and will destroy things. So I'm apologizing now. But you're just going to want to set whatever eye primer you're using or if you're using concealer. So the palette I'm going to be using today is the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette. This is what I used to create this look and you guys all loved it. So I'm giving it to you. Okay. So, okay. So now that we are super close, <laughs> a little uh, scarily close, and I just had a meltdown and accidentally stabbed my nail into this shade here, but it's fine. Um, we're gonna we're gonna keep on moving, keep on trucking. So I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite blending brushes, which is the Morphe E23. I'm gonna take this bright orange shade right here. It is called Chum. It has shimmer in it, but that doesn't like show up on your eye when you put it on. So yeah, this is like bright orange, very pigmented. I'm just gonna throw this in the crease as like a base for everything I'm gonna be doing into the crease so don't think that you need to be precise with this because you don't girl don't sweat it so now I'm going to start really um, building that fiery orange goodness I had going on when you get a look at yourself in the viewfinder and you look like Ursula you're like Ugh. Okay. Um, my brushes are still dirty from the last time I did this, just so you know. So don't think I'm like a nasty hoe that doesn't wash my brushes, because I do. Sometimes. <laughs> just kidding. Um, but I'm just gonna take my, uh, what is this? Morphe R39. And I'm gonna go into this shade right here called Fetish. 
this shade is beautiful this shade also like when you look at it it has shimmer in it but it doesn't show up on your eye which is good but as you guys can see this is she is so pigmented oh geez now i'm starting to sound like manny so pigmented okay and i'm just going to start building the halo because that's what this look was it was a halo so i'm going to pack it on the inner and outer edges i'm going to take one of my favorite blending brushes this is the morphe r40 a little bit more of this charm shade. Oh, Elvis is in here. Hi, Elvis. If you guys don't know, Elvis is my uh, Dalmatian, so. If you guys have never um, worked with one of Jeffree's shadows, they blend really beautifully. I don't know if you guys can see, but those blended really seamlessly, which is great. So, I'm gonna go back in and with the fetish shade again and just build up the intensity with the Morphe R39. Because we want this to be like red or burnt the charm shade. Basically, you're just going to want to do this until however dark you want the red, however intense you want it is perfect. And just go back through and make sure you're blending. Because if you put too much of the orange down, you'll lose the red. If you put too much of the red down, you'll lose the orange. Which I did not want to... I wanted both of those colors to be very very known it's gonna like i said we're just i'm just gonna keep doing these steps until like it's blended enough and i just want the red like really intense but i also want the orange really intense so i'm just gonna keep doing this until the intensity is of desired intensityness say that five times fast <laughs> Now, I know what I did next. I took this, no. I took a Morphe M433, and I'm going to go into this Dominatrix shade, if I want to show you guys, right there. It's like a deep, fudgy, it's like my favorite fudge brown eyeshadow. It just, so rich, so, like, it just has, like, the perfect chocolatey, fudgy undertone. I just live for it, because this is just going to deepen it up further than what it already is. So I'm just going to put this right where I put the red, just right over top just to further deepen things. And then just make sure that the red is still prominent, which I know this seems like a lot of steps, you guys, but it's really what builds the, je ne sais quoi, what's the word I'm thinking of? It's what really builds the depth of an eye look is using multiple shades and, you know, going back in blending and then going into more blending, going into more blending type of thing. So I'm going to go back in with finish and the same brush. And I'm just gonna put that over top on the R40. And we're just gonna one last time melt all of this beautifulness together. And I'm just like circular motions in, if that makes sense you guys when I'm doing this. So now I'm gonna take my MAC 242, which is just a flat synthetic brush spritz it with uh, some fix plus I'm gonna take this shade deja vu right here as my base I'm gonna put glitter over top of it but this is gonna be the base for the glitter which this by itself is gorgeous if you wanted to leave it like this girl you still gonna look good like this shade is beautiful it's like a really metallic sparkly copper I have my base down which I'm going to lightly blend the edges with a little bit of charm, nothing too dark, just lightly. Because you want to do this before you put glitter on, because if you try to blend the edges with glitter on, your glitter is going to end up all over your face. So this is the Glitter Oprah in the size 3 from Lit Cosmetics. We're going to use Lit Cosmetics Glitter Glue. So I'm just going to take a small I used last time. It is. Look at that. Still got glitter on it. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to dip into my glitter glue. I'm going to lay it down. I suggest doing one eye at a time. Make it a little bit easier. And then I'm just going to start lightly packing it on. I don't want to go in it with too much because you don't want it to go everywhere. And that's really the eyes, you guys. So I'm going to start on my face. 
I'm gonna zoom you out. We'll do the base. Okay, so you guys know I already primed with my Smashbox primerizer, which I love this stuff so much. It's like half gone. This is a really expensive primer, but it's really good. <laughs> um, and then I'm just going to take some of this um, Anastasia Liquid Glow in the shade Peach Fizz. I'm just gonna put it on the high points underneath the foundation instead of mixing with the foundation because I think that that works a little bit better. I don't know. And I know it looks really dark now, but I am self-tanned, so my body is darker than my face. I'm going to put this on the places that I want to glow. And I know so I've really... This looks so crazy right now. Okay, anywho, I've been using the Smashbox Photo Finish Iconic Primer Stick, which if you guys are like oily, I think this would be really great too. Um, I use it because I like how it fills my pores. And it just does it really quickly. You just run it over the area and boom, pores filled. This is the, I've been loving this foundation. This is the La Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra, Ultra Long Wear Foundation. This is in the shade 3N1 Buff, which I think will match myself tan pretty well. But this foundation is beautiful. It lasts a really long time, super full coverage. So I've really been into more full coverage foundations lately, which is odd because typically I like a more medium coverage and then I like to spot correct with concealer, but I don't know, girls just been into weird things lately. I'm gonna use my handy dandy Morphe Y6 to start layering this on the skin. use my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer, you guys. If you're from a beauty group, you know this is like my fave. It's all I use anymore. So I bought this shade over the summer when I was really tan. <laughs> and now it's like the same color as my body. Or as my face. So I need a lighter shade. I'm just going to blend that out with my Buddha Blender. Okay, so while my face is still wet, and yes, I did put my foundation on top of this, I'm going to take a little bit of Soleil Tan de Chanel. Soleil Dan de Chanel. It's the Cream Bronzer by Chanel. Um, and I'm going to lay this down first just because I've been enjoying putting this down and then a little bit of powder bronzer on top. My bronzer really lasts a long time when I do this. So... So you guys, I think it just cut off as I was finishing setting my um, certain areas with the banana powder. But just in case, this powder is really good. You guys should try it. Um, it's really good for a banana powder. It's not too strong of a yellow that you can't use it. So, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little bit of powder bronzer on just to set that cream bronzer. I've just, I've fallen back in love with MAC Give Me Sun. I was like, in love with other things for a little while, but I've just recently fallen back in love with it and I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna use the Morphe, I believe this is the R7, <laughs> name has rubbed off, but I'm gonna just lightly go in and bronze. Yeah, I've recently just fallen back in love with this bronzer. So I'm gonna contour you guys. I, if you guys, if anybody knows where I can get like this full size powder, please tell me because I don't know what it is, the shade of this, the way it blends. I just love this. I got it in a free gift from Sephora. Decided to try it out, obsessed. It's the Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in shade two medium. It just is like the perfect contour shade for me because I don't particularly like contouring with anything too warm. I mean, too cool. I like a neutral and this is perfect. And I'm using the Morphe. M437. I love this brush for contouring, especially the cheeks. I'm going to contour under my lip and my nose. I just like to use a little eyeshadow brush for this. Because your nose is such a small area. Alright, under the lip. I am going to bake just a little bit 
underneath my, uh, what is the word? Contour. 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 I'm going to take just some of my Born This Way Ethereal Powder from Too Faced. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to quickly off of camera go apply, like do my brows and put some lashes on and then I will be right back to finish the rest of the face. Words, cause why you don't stop? Her body won't quit. So fool pop down, talk about shit. Okay, ladies, we are in business. So I have lashes on. These are the Blinking Butte Samantha lashes. So put my brows on. They're not exactly cooperating with me today, but you know what? We all roll with it. So I'm gonna do eyeliner on my waterline, which. Um, I think it would be really pretty to use this. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil. This is from the Naked Heat Collection. It's in the shade Torch. It's like a like a red-orange. A Sigma E15. I'm going to take the darkest shade we used, with, used, used, which was Dominatrix, and I'm just going to press that up against... Oops, not that shade. Uh, right up against the uh, lash line. But... I'm going to take Fetish right here and do that one next. And then I'm going to take Charmed and really smoke it. Charmed. Charm. And really just smoke that out. I want the orange to really be very prominent because, I mean, we're a pumpkin spice latte, so. Um, I'm going to put some mascara on the lower lash line which this mascara is the bomb, you guys. This is the Falsies Push Up Angel. It has this really super, if it will focus, has this really super teeny wand, so it really just gets in there and grabs those bitches for you. Lengthens, separate in the shade just a pinch. It's like a orange. <laughs> so, ooh, basic bitch, here we is. Ooh, okay, it's highlight and lips. And for lips today, which in my picture, everyone was asking, um, I was wearing K Pumpkin by Kylie Cosmetics. So that's what we're going to wear. Just going to line my lips first. Okay, so lippy is on. Oh, this lip is so good. It's like a... It's like a burnt pumpkin, like a dirty burnt pumpkin. It's just like the most beautiful shade. Now that that's on, I'm going to go in with my highlighter, which for this particular look, I really thought that gold would be complimentary, so that's what I wore. This is just uh, Estee Lauder Heat Wave. Oh, this is so good. You guys, I love a good highlight that just makes your skin look wet, and that's what this one does. Oh. Okay guys, and that is the completest, completed, 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 why am I struggling right now? This is my completed, oh my god, pumpkin spice inspired makeup tutorial. I think it's really cute, it's really pretty. <laughs> this is definitely a look that I will be abusing and wearing all season long, because uh, I mean, can we? Look at these eyes. Whew. And Kylie, this lip. Can we just... I love it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll be sure to link all the products I use down below. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching this video. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Join my J fam here. I would love to have you. And as always, I just I love you guys so much. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. What the, what the tits is this, Jake Lee? What the tits am I doing here? Okay, guys, I will see you guys in my next video. I love you. I was busy thinking about boys, boys, boys. I was busy dreaming about boys.